What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to some Settled Corsa and today guys we are going to be driving this this is a European NASCAR now has any of you out there heard of a European NASCAR? because I haven't now I was just looking about on race department and I like to look on Pesio's page sometimes he's like he makes some great mods great. a lot of you will know who I'm on about and I seen this like there was no picture of the car or anything it was just like a like a, like a logo sort of saying I had a look at that was a European NASCAR gives a look at that so I was like oh yes and then it turns out to be this and wow what a great little car it is like you get four cars you get a Ford a Chevy and I think it's a shadow and something else I'm not exactly sure what it is but today we're going to be driving the Ford now this is a real series this is like this race really did happen this is Vallelunga and this is like the race of champions race was here so I thought well might as well take it there but it goes to like seven or eight different tracks um, Hockenheim is a few of them it goes to but this is one of them so I thought we'll just take it to Vallelunga and Kunos is um, officers are at Vallelunga, Vallelunga so let's give it a whirl but I'll tell you what we'll quickly do we'll quickly check out the model so there's the one we're going to be driving I had to pick number 23 as well a bit of Jordan action this is the Ford now if you like this, these videos and you want to see the Chevy at another track just let us know and we'll surely we can do it Hughes, Hughes yeah, tires I can't even pronounce that but this thing's got 400 brake horsepower so it's not like 750 like an American NASCAR and it weighs about the same I think they're quite heavy it's about 1200 kilos which is not a lot I know but it's still quite heavy for a race car but Pesio's mods they, they really are well done I don't want to keep this here too long Here's that 3D modeling. Now I do believe he actually drives in this series. I could be totally wrong. But Pesio actually might drive in this series. We'll have a quick look at the interior. It's all there. I do like the wheel. Fanatec, Fanatec um, do one of these wheels now. You could get that for your direct drive beast. How about it? There's no lights or nothing. Doors don't open. But modeling's done like a great high standard H pattern gearbox, 4 speed H pattern but you don't need to use the clutch you can just bang it through the gear so it's like a dog box but yeah guys we're going to go to Valunga. put your sim belts on let's get whirling right then guys 8 laps Valunga. whoa listen to that fear boost right then let's give this thing some cheese welly boogity 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 let's go racing in the second gear Right then, 400 brake horsepower from a Nacho aspirated V8, but wait, an American NASCAR has got about 750, 800 horsepower. This has got about half that. But this car was not designed to go over oval racing, it's designed for road racing, for like on European tracks. Because there isn't really any ovals in Europe anyway, so. But I suppose if you wanted to go and try it on an oval, you could, but that's not what this car is designed for anywhere around the outside. Well, bit of combat there but it's it's very hard to get the best out of this car and not crash because for a start it's hard to check to see your brake where to brake like when it being so heavy like the brakes are the worst brakes you can think of really you can get the first there you've got a bit of the throttle as well but you can't just flat shift it though like you don't use the clutch or nothing I'm gonna come and go up the inside oh that was very risky on the brakes come and get two of them Oh, not bad, feed the throttle in, nice and progressive. Oh no, he's got one, we're stuck one. They end up stuck to the eye, then they just keep going then. Oh, I've lost it, oh wow. <laughs> that was lucky going through there. Grip the throttle into second gear, I need first. Right, get the nose of the car in. I always end up overdriving this car and then I make a massive mistake. I'm just gonna have to take my time, there's no rush. Right, then feed the power in nice and gentle. Decent. Great. Gotta use first gear a lot like right then short shift in the second. Oh I feel a car, I feel a car will load the steers up over the top there like I was thinking about sending it there. Try leaving it in second, just roll the car in. Right, feed the power, give it right and let it eat. Let that 400 brake horsepower eat. It only revs for about 6000 rpm so it's not like a really revy engine but I do like the sound of it. It sounds great. Come and get it right. Like, oh, fourth gear. Keep, keep my foot in it there. Woohoo! That was risky, that. Right. 
<clears throat> get on the brakes nice and early. Bit that fall. Down the first. Not bad. So far so good. Right then feed the front front in in the third. But the AI go really well, you know, all the Pesos mods, the AI are great though. And then hard on the brakes, big brakes, big brakes, bit before, down the first. Feel it inside with a real lot up there, short shift in the second. Right, on the power, come on, get around the end. This is, well, that's a nice line, that. That's nicely, right, on the brakes. Oh, that was risky. But we made it so hard. <laughs> oh, we've done it. Done one and a half people anyway. Lift up a little bit. Oh, the we have one to step out. Oh my god. He's still there on the inside. Just roll the coin, get it into first gear. Come, come and hold that outside line. If we can keep this line, we've, 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 oh, we've done it. Ah, oh, yes. Come on. There's, oh, he's, he's just hit with though. He's just hit with. We went to six, we've got the move done. We've got a I mean, really probably could have just left it in second gear there though. Right, get on it. But it's all about the, with the most important part is getting the braking right. Because you always feel like you just go in that little bit further, that little, you brake that little bit later and you really you can't. You've just got to get on the brake so early. Into fourth. I feel somebody's pretty close behind me. Hope it doesn't pump up the inside there. Oh, I'll lift out of it. Phew, on the limit. <laughs> that was risky that, but we've got it done. Right, grip that throttle. Right, we're going to first gear, massive lock up there. Right, try not to hit that sausage curb on the inside, in the fourth third. But it's got like, a, it's, it feels like a, like a lazy engine, like it doesn't like the rev, it's just like, it's just a typical American V8, you know, it's got that. Muscle car V8 sound with see if we can leave it in second gear here. And just roll on the power, roll on through the field, and then the flat. Not bad actually, the second's probably the gear. Maybe I've been going wrong by leaving it in. Leaving it in. Like doing that, I need see you need first for that. You need first if you can't go around there in second. But the AI are actually pretty quick. Like I'm trying my best to keep up here. Try second round here, just roll, let it roll in, let the car do the work. Don't fight the car, because once you start fighting the car, that's when you start making mistakes. Need first. Oh, we caught them quite a bit there though. But normally I would like to stab the throttle there and get the car to like, whip round and rotate it on the throttle, but that's not the key. I can't really, you can't do that in this car, it's too snappy. Like, if you stab the throttle, it'll just snap on you, like, it'll just snap and you lose the car. Get in the second, let it roll in. Feed the power in nicely. I feel like I've got a good grasp of what, it, what the car wants us to do now though. Like, sixth position, that's actually pretty decent for us. Normally we're like hanging around back in 10th or 12th. Lift out a bit, leave in fourth, and roll on the power. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Keep those bodies rolling around. Waha! Oh, ho Yes, sir! So far, so good. Right, then second gear's the gear. In the third, oh, I had to lift out of it a little bit. Couldn't get it on the power the way I wanted to. Let it rev in the fourth. Right, brakes, I don't see that. I probably could have hit the brakes a little bit later there, but. It's better being safe than Joyce went out wide. But the eyes made a mistake. Can we get last of the way, creators on the boat? This is the perfect example. It's full send. Oh, full send. Oh, oh, that was full. That was fully sent, signed, sealed, and delivered. Come on. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Into fifth. Oh, I hope I can get this, the rest of this race done with no major mistakes. Get down to first. Nice, nice and gentle on the power. Now I'm flat. Like you can see how early I got on the power, but I just couldn't get on it. Like the way I wanted to. Right, roll on it, roll on. Short shift in a second. But you get some nice real real close racing, don't you, with these cars? Like I haven't really drove the Chevy if this if, if this turns out alright, maybe we'll take a Chevy to like Hockenheim or Mugello. They don't actually go to Mugello though, I don't think. Eyes went wide. 
from a couple guys on his mistake. Nice. I'll tell you what, guys. Let's have a couple of quiet ones and have a listen to this beard. Beard. so far can we hold it though let's see if we can get get another one i feel like i'm on the raggedy edge like it's, it's as much as this like it's as much as this cause got well i've went too deep oh so we've just got away with that as well like, on the pot right chill out barn it just take your time there's no rush but they're pretty quick ahead of the road like, really quick it's all about getting your breaking right that's the key, you've got to blip the throttle as well on the downshift. You've got to set the cord, you've got to really match the engine engine speed. Oh, I went, that was a little bit of a wide line though. I can hear him, he's up the inside though. Right. On the brakes, I'm on the face for this one. Oh, a bit messy though. Could, could be better, could be better. One and a half laps left. left. I'll still be happier if we get on the podium, like, considering the amount of time I've been trying. Well, I went way too deep. This is what I mean about, this is what happens to us. I'll, I'll get so far through the race and then I'll try and catch up and I always end up overdriving the car. 
and when you overdrive and that means you're gonna make you're making mistakes. But we've caught them a little bit though. Right. Clip the curb on the inside. Same again. Do not hit that big sausage curb because that oh went right, that would really upset the car. You can see I'm really pushing that. Even second let it let it roll in. Oh, oh, oh I nearly lost the behind of the car there but, but I don't think we're gonna be able to catch them. Right then on the final lap. In the fourth. I can hear him, I think he's up the inside. I can hear him, I don't know where he is though. If that would get into oh, on the raggedy edge there. In the brakes, try not to lock up. But I did lock up. <laughs> I've done everything I don't want to do. I feed the power in, come on fine, I keep it together for this, this last lap. A podium's a good result for us. Ripping it out into fourth. But I don't think we're gonna be able to make any more moves on it. But it breaks nice and early. I love the sound of the engine though when you when you put the throttle there, it sounds nice, doesn't it? Oh that was a nice line all that. Nice line. Into third. Right, on the brakes. Oh we're catching. Alright, a couple more laps and we might get this dude like. Right, revving it out into second gear. Into third. Oh, we're so close. Bit of a throttle. I need first. Chuck it in. Wait for the stick, wait for the rest of the bike. What a great little mod this is, though. Get him in first gear. Oh, he's bouncing off the sausage curves. Come on, get him on the power nicely. Decent. We're not close enough, though. Couple more corners, maybe. <laughs> he's really dropped off the pace. He was right wing. Second before. Come on, get him in the last turn. That's the late breakers. Oh, no. Nah. I was thinking about just sending it, but getting away on enough, enough funny moves today. <laughs> And that was that. Eight laps of Valenunda. Right, let's check out a little couple of laps of this replay or something. And like, wow, what a great, you know what it is, guys? I've tried to do this race like three or four times and I always just, I get so frustrated and I'm like, oh, wait, I just, I'll send it up the inside. And on the brakes, there's just not enough braking power. And then we just bosh the whole, sh it just goes tits up. But this time, that, it actually, I'm really pleased with that. Like, it, it turned into a, a great little race, but what a great little mod this is. Like, not usually even heard of this mod because the way it is on race department, it, it's not really like, like I say, there's no pictures or anything, you know, when you're clicking through. It's just like a, a NASCAR sign. So it just goes to show if you like look into things that there is more things there. But I will leave the links in the description for it. But uh, yeah, what well, ours oh, we've got the inside there, the number 23. Some Bubba Wallace style, European styley bubble, Bubba Wallace, boogity boogity boogity. <laughs> Great little mod, Pesio. Now I do think he races in this this series. I could be totally wrong there, so don't quote us on that. Yeah. Great little Great little car. It drives surprisingly well for it being like quite, it's not really heavy, is it? I don't know how heavy like an American NASCAR is, but it does it's very believable the way it drives. And 400 horsepower, it's enough to to get some close great racing. I might go and look into it on YouTube and see like how the real cars actually race. It, but this is an actual series. There's about seven races. Hockenheim, Norris Ring, here Vallelunga. Ah, I, I'm I don't think they go to Mugello. Well, that would be a good track. I like Mugello. I must. I don't think they go to Spa either. Maybe it's the Nurburgring. But it's about seven tracks. There's a couple of them I haven't really heard of. But come and get. Come and get him up the inside, we'll look in there, you can see. But yeah guys, that was just a quick eight lap race in the European NASCAR. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to love yous and leave yous. Peace from the Northeast. Toodles.